about theory of set. Let's introduce ourselves to set. First, in our daily life, while performing our regular work, we often come across a variety of things that occur in groups. E.g. like a group of pretty girls, set of whole numbers from 1 to 20, pack of playing cards, etc. So the word group, set, pack, etc. like that, convey the idea of certain collections. So if you have a well-defined collection of objects, then it is a set. So if you have collection of objects, say if any given collection of objects is in such a way that it is possible to tell without any doubt whether a given object belongs to this collection or not, then such a collection is called a well-defined collection of objects. So example of a um, well-defined collection of objects. So group of pretty girls, you know, we can actually pack pretty girls. And you can see them and say, wow, these girls are pretty. So a not well-defined collection of objects. So see example, a group of numbers, you know, numbers, you have millions of numbers. So if you say a group of number, if you say a group of natural numbers from 1 to 10, that means it's a well-defined. That is, you have already tell us the range. But a group of numbers, we don't actually know, so it's not a well-defined collection. Also, if you have a, a class of intelligent students in SS3, so like you, you have different SS3, which school? which area which so you have to specify so that it to be well defined so that is why a well defined collection of distinct objects is called a set so that is definition of set so the following points are to be noted so one objects elements and member and members of a set are the same so if i say object elements or member of a set they are all the same two sets are usually denoted by capital letters so like a b c r um, so sets are usually denoted by capital letters and again the elements of a set are represented by small letters like a b c r m etc so those are the some points you should note so now if a is elements so if a is an element of sets a then we say a is a member of a so now this symbol represent member because in sets there are some symbols that you can see so you need to know all the symbols that's why this is just introduction so now this symbol represent member so if a is an element of set a then i can say a is a member of set a as in that's how we represent it so if you see symbol like this it means a is a member of set a we use we represent set as capital letter and its member as small letter. So if I cross it a, so this one means a is not a member of set a. Like that. So similarly now, if I have, and in one video I've done types of numbers, so I discuss all the numbers you have. That is natural number, real number, imaginary number, complex, uh, like uh, rational, irrational, as in I've explained. You can watch the video on types of number. So you can actually understand what we are talking about numbers. Now, if I write something like this, 5, what is the interpretation of this? So 5 is a member of N. That is, N is natural number. Yeah. So where N is a natural number. So that is the meaning of this. 5 is a member of natural number. So because that is 5 belongs to natural number. 
So remember in the video that I did type of number, you know that zero is not a member of natural number. So smallest natural number we have is one. Please go and watch the video on types of number so you understand better. So now that is the symbol you need to know. So before we now have representation of sets. So I'll do the representation of sets in another video. This one is just introduction to sets. So you just need to know which one is member, which one is not a member. So uh, we can actually have question on this, just this brief introduction. You can have question. So let me give you a question here. So to just, to be able to identify the symbol member. So remember, this symbol means member of. or belongs to as in that's the meaning so now let me give you a question let a be equals to that is set a be, to be equals to one two three four five six now insert the insert the appropriate symbols and search the appropriate symbol member or not member you know this is member of or if you cross it is not a member of in the blank spaces so one five a two eight a three zero a four four dash a so now let me do one you know so this is set a so when i say insert this or this and qualify with that a so now look at that first one five i'll check the a so five is there that means five is a member of sets a to represent that i'll just say this so do the rest also so five is a member so then i move to representation of sets 